guys and um, I'm currently sat in the office. Now I'm going to tell you all about my CPC course because I've had a lot of people ask me um, what was it like, could I do a video, a bigger video on it um, because they want to know what it's like and if they could do it. Now well, some of you will know that I was sitting my transport manager CPC and I did it over August um, and a little bit in September and my exam was last Friday. Um, I won't know my results uh, for another six to eight weeks. Um, it was very difficult and it's not for the faint hearted. If your mind is not in it, you won't do very well. If you don't start revising from day one, like doing the multiple choice questions and everything like that, then you're gonna struggle towards the end and you'll probably really panic as well because there is so much to learn. There is 30 modules to learn and some of these stuff that you will never use ever again uh, because like the finance side, the accountant does that. Uh, but you need to learn everything. You need to learn costings. I learned about ADR. Um, I learned about driver's hours. Obviously, I know that. Um, axle configurations. Obviously, I know that as well. Axle weights, wide loads. Anything in transport, I learned it. And it wasn't just national. It was international as well. Um, so I learned about all the tolls and everything like that and what permits you need and the paperwork for international and St Mary's, I can guarantee you now is not going to go international because there is a lot of paperwork to do if you're doing anything international. Um, so I'm just going to give you a little bit of an outline of what we did and what we got. So to start off with, um, you will need a ruler and it's like being back to school. You need a clear pencil case. Now I got mine off Amazon. Obviously it had to be green and um, you will need a calculator as well. Obviously it had to get green. Um, you will need highlighters, uh, especially in the case study because the answers are obviously based around in the case study and um, mine were obviously green and yellow. Um, and it just helps you so much better if you're highlighting um, the bits in the case study and what you're relating to answering on the question. Um, also, black ink um, for your case study. The, if you go with the RHA, they gave me a free pen. Um, and also pencils. Now pencils you will need for the multiple choice because you're not allowed to do it in pen. It has to be in pencil. Um, so yeah, obviously a rubber as well. Now, for the books that we get given, so to start off with you get this mighty fold holders with every single module and um, i would buy these tabs they don't actually come with these tabs but i would buy these tabs um so there is 30 modules that you need to learn and um it's uh, quite a lot um I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that, well, I'm not going to tell you all of them. There's insurance, there's O license, there's permits, there's customs, um, vehicle costing, electronic data, marketing, financial management, health and safety. There is literally 30 modules um, of it. Now, in the case study exam, there's two exams, there's a multiple choice uh, exam and a case study exam. In the case study exam, you're allowed to take all the, your books in. Obviously, I'll carry on showing these, but you're allowed to take your books in. And obviously, all the answers are in the book. Whether you find them or not is a different story because they word it very differently in the case study. Um, so yeah, that's why the tabs are so much better. So you can flick to say module seven and ta-da, you're there sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that is one folder you get that thick that you need to learn, right? Then with the RHA, I got another folder. Now this is all the slides that we went through uh, in the days that I was there. Um, so you could write notes and everything. You also will get uh, different multiple choice papers, uh, different case study papers. So you get the kind of gist of um, what to expect, which is very good. And um, yeah, you will get absolutely loads of them. <laughs> so um, yeah, they'll carry on giving you loads of pieces of paper. 
Um, in the white book, as well as the blue book, you'll have different case studies as well um, for the different modules. So you get a different idea of what they're asking you in a, in a case study question. And also, um, you will get one of these multiple choice revision booklets which I highly recommend that you start on day one going through these because the sort the, the questions will be roughly the same as in a normal exam um, so these would be so much if you do it from day dot they go in your head a lot better my mistake was no I didn't listen to the teacher and didn't do it from day dot because it's very hard to juggle revision work and like your normal social life as well. In that time, I didn't really have a social life. So my head was just in books. So um, yeah, that is what you get. Um, and then obviously you take your notepads and, and stuff and oh my God, it's just so much work. I ended up having to take a bag because there was that much pieces of paper. So in your case study, you also have 60 questions where you have to get 42 of those right, which is, you're probably thinking, well, that's not too bad. No, no, it's quite, it's, it, it is quite difficult. Um, you need to learn everything off by heart, um, like timings, like inspection sheets are only allowed to be kept for 15 months. Well, not only allowed to be kept, but that's how long you keep a record for is 15 months. You need to learn um, like, sick pay maternity leave how long how much you get paid blah 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 there is so many different things that you need to learn and that's why i found it so so difficult obviously i don't know if i've passed yet and that personally i think i've passed one but i don't think i've passed the multiple choice um i struggle in exam environments because my mind goes blank um and obviously when you don't have the answers in your book for the case study, like you do in the case study, um, I find it really difficult and I ended up changing quite a lot of my answers in the multiple choice. I don't know if that was a good thing or I don't know if that was a bad thing. Um, but I'm quite glad it's over. Um, like I said, it is not for the faint hearted. It is very difficult and not many people pass, but you can retake it. Um, you don't need to sit the full course again. You can just retake the exams. Um, like you can just retake the multiple choice or you can just retake the case study. You don't need to do both again, which is very, very good. Um, so yeah, I hope that's a little bit more information of um, about the transport managers course. My teacher was absolutely fantastic. Um, he was so, so helpful, Pete was. Um, he gave us his phone number so if we were struggling at a weekend or when we weren't at the course we could give him a ring and just ask him some questions also we could email him and ask him to give us um the answers if we did extra case studies and stuff like that he'd send over the answers which was really really good to be honest i couldn't ask for a better teacher um he made it fun even though even on the hard days um with the amount of times I had a headache after the day was unbelievable because of the amount of information that you have to take in but um yeah it's over for now if I pass it'll be over but um yeah I hope that was um a good little insight of the transport app manager CPC please ask questions if uh, if you want to ask questions leave them down in the comments I'll try and get back to you um, but I'll try uh, and be as informative as I can in the answering of the said questions. <sighs> but um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. I'm going whores at the weekend, so whores uh, sheep sale videos will be coming out next week. Um, so yeah, bye guys. <laughs>